In the modern political world, the terms left-wing and right-wing can often be heard and misunderstood. But what do these terms mean, and where do they come from? The terms left and right were first used in an ideological context during the French Revolution of the 18th century. Those on the left were in support of the revolution, and those on the right supported the monarchy. This idea of the left supporting change and the right wanting to keep the status quo continues today and is key in some of their philosophy. The difference between left and right wing ideology fundamentally comes down to the balance between individual liberty and government power. The left strive for an equal society and believe that the state should play a substantial role in people's lives. This means increased regulation on business and higher taxes on the rich. The left also tend to hold more progressive views, often opposing the death penalty while supporting same-sex marriage and women's right to abortion. The left have more lenient views on immigration and are usually the driving force behind any separation of church and state. Economically, the left often follow the Keynesian, or is it sometimes called the interventionist school of thought. In brief, this system would have the government intervene to avoid an economic recession. This means taxing highly during good or boom times and spending this money when the economy truly needs it. The level of government interference varies by how far left it is, with communists wanting complete control over all aspects of the economy, whereas the centre-left want only moderate intervention. The right believe that a level of social inequality is inevitable, and think that the government should have a limited role in people's lives and business. This is, as the right believes, that preserving personal freedom should be the government's main goal and should not impose too many rules on people's lives. The right also tend to hold more traditional and religious attitudes than the left, often opposing things those on the left support, such as same-sex marriage and women's right to abortion. Economically, the right can often be seen using the new classical approach, which includes having a laissez-faire policy. This roughly translates to leave things alone and means less regulation to increase innovation and lower taxes to increase growth. In short, the right views government interference in business as a bad thing and thinks that the market prospers best when left to its own devices. Parties on the left include Labour, the Greens and the Democratic Party, while those on the right include the Republicans, Conservatives and the UK Independence Party. There is also a centre ground where parties like the Liberal Democrats lie. These parties hold views from both the left and the right. This all being said, the use of left and right to describe modern political parties is not always accurate. There are actually many different political spectrums that can be used to judge how far left or right a party is. Parties often judge themselves based on other current political parties. In this regard, Labour is often seen to be on the left and Conservatives are often seen to be on the right. In actual fact, lots of Labour policy actually places it in the centre or right of the political spectrum. The same is true in America, where both the Democrats and Republicans are on the right of the spectrum in political terms, even if the Democrats are sometimes seen as having more left-wing values. The political spectrum is also not just two-dimensional. Within both the left and the right, there are people who hold authoritarian and libertarian views. Authoritarians wish for greater government interference and libertarians want the opposite. As previously stated, the left tend to be authoritarian and the right tend to be libertarian, but this is not always the case. We are often taught the extremes of left-wing is communism and the extremes of right-wing is fascism. This is not strictly true, as the extreme authoritarian nature of fascist governments combined with left-wing economic beliefs make it hard to place on a political scale. While it is useful to have these labels in order to help the majority of people easily distinguish between different ideologies, it is also important to remember that they are not always accurate, and looking at the party's policy for yourself is often the best way to choose who gets your vote, rather than following a label blindly.